Fred, don't look at the thing too hard. You look shot. You look like you're shopping right now. Don't do that. Got some more ideas going. <laughs> How are you doing this morning, Blaine? Tired. Tired? Same. Same, buddy. You need your coffee. <laughs> I do need my coffee. Luckily, we have a gas stop left. There you go. What is up 1320 fans? It is 6.48 in the morning and we are starting day four of Rocky Mountain Race Week. Right now we are in Pueblo, Colorado. We have about 190 miles drive today. And it's always back roads. It's never in interstates and highways and stuff like that. So uh, not too far of a drive today, but once we get to Bandemir, we have to race. So they have to drive and race today. So everybody's getting up really early, making sure they can make it to Bandemir, especially when it's gonna be, I think 98 or 100 degrees in Bandemir today. So really hot day today for all these guys traveling. We're gonna go ahead and get on the road here. We are following Blaine and his dad, Tom, as well as it looks like Royce and the hearse are all cruising together and probably a few other cars. So we're gonna get on the road, show you guys some of the stuff that happens on the road, on the way to Bandemir, and then racing action later. All right, day four, how's trailer life treating you? Since you didn't have a trailer the past couple. No, got tired of the yard sale. Right. Got the biggest car here probably, and we just decided to make it 10 feet longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice having a trailer though, just unhook it and go. Yeah, unhook yeah. it, everything's, you know, everything you need's in there. Gotcha. We still put stuff in the car though. <laughs> You did an 864 at Great Bend. What'd you do it? What'd you do it? 893, I think. So still averaging eights. Yeah. Still averaging eights. I screwed up here. That was my fault. Driver error. But I told myself finish, and if I could finish the week with an average of eights, that's a double that's a, win. I think that's a win. I mean, something this big. Holy crap. I mean, if you think about it, you would be averaging faster than the Guinness World Record oh, hey. uh, over right. a week and by, driving 1,400 miles. So by almost a second. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty cool. So. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Good luck today, man. Thanks. Yeah. How you take your coffee? I don't know. A little flavor. A little flavor? A little flavor. A little cream, a little sugar? Yeah. You look like you need one right now. Yeah, I could probably use one. <laughs> this morning I woke up and I was like, ah, I don't want to get out of bed. Good morning. How are you doing this morning, Tom? I'm tired. Tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah. The kid over there is like, I need my coffee. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think we're good. Do you guys get some sleep at least? Some. Yeah, I got, you know, probably five hours, so we're Do good. Do we to go. really sleep on this though? No, you sleep. You can sleep when you're dead. You rest a little bit yeah. to get through the next day. I get it, uh, that's pretty accurate. Morning, Royce, Jordan. Morning. Did you guys get some sleep last night? A little bit? Not really. I don't know. No. What do you got? I was about to say, did you have to put an axle in the wife's truck? We welded it back up last night. Oh, geez. We got uh, out of the track, headed to the gas station, and ran out. Ran out of gas on the way to the gas station from leaving the track? That's painful. We got, yeah. That's a kick in the dick right there. <laughs> yeah, we got the car running barely enough to get enough speed to coast into the pumps. <laughs> They were all looking at us a little strange when we're kind of rolling in hot, but they figured it out. <laughs> we only got like 200 miles today. That's maybe 190. It's not yeah, even 200. No big deal. Yeah. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then it's just gonna be like 100. Just to getting up early sucks. Yeah, after not sleeping we, very long. We yeah. Went to bed early. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I know I set my alarm. And I think it said like three and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. At least we're getting an early start, so it's only going to be like 100 by the time we get there instead yeah, of like 106. Only. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go in the air conditioning in the Denali. You Good. guys have fun Good in deal. the heat soaked car right there. Shouldn't too, be too bad this morning. Yeah. Good luck on the road. Thanks. They just welded this axle on last night, so it's probably going to have some little troubles. Oh, oh. Little chirp. Little chirp. Hearse, load it up. Royce, load it up.
boys. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, he got us, though. Oh, he knows it. All right, I don't know which rotary joke to, to, oh. to come up with right now. No, it's not bad. I saw a thumbs up, but I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, uh -uh. he's like, oh, you ain't getting by with this one. This, this isn't exactly a great place to pull out, so what's the situation? What we got? Um, well, I was just going to check the code. So when we got to the top of the mountain up here, as we were going to decel, um, it just shut off. So we're thinking that it was obviously some kind of an engine protection. So it was either air temp is what I'm thinking because okay. it's a liquid air intercooler. Okay. And the water was like 260, Getting hot. 160 degrees. The water was? Yeah. Oof. So the intake air temp uh, will basically kill the car at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what I'm thinking. It maxed out the intake air temp sensor. So you're just letting it cool off a little bit? Well, I'm going to check to verify that that's what it was right now, but I'm going to wait till you leave to do that. Gotcha. <laughs> But uh, no, I'm gonna check to see what that was, and then if it was, then we'll just let it cool down and just keep going. We put some more ice and water in the um, reservoir box. Okay, but other should than that, you should be good? Yeah, I mean, legitimately, it drove great through the mountains. We were like, oh, we're almost done. And then we all of a sudden, it. we made it over the top of the hill, and it just, it just shut off. And I was like, dang it. <laughs> I, like, I like how this is set up. I hadn't seen this before. That's on there pretty solid too. It gives you some shade. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. nice. It's necessary. Well, it actually didn't even throw a coat. Uh oh. If it didn't throw a coat, that could be an issue. Yeah. You know, if this doesn't start, I'm sitting here for a while, right? That's cool. <laughs> Extra gas? No, I have E85. I got enough to make it there. You're just throwing E85 in it. It's I mean, if, gas station. how fast does this burn through E85 though? Because that's like gonna go through quick, huh? Yeah, but I didn't. I had uh, enough because I only made two passes yesterday. Okay. So I have like four gallons of the one that I was going to use yesterday right. in Pueblo. So I could use that one at least put four gallons in it. And sure. Try to make it further, I guess, and see if I get to. Is your gas gauge not working? You just didn't wasn't paying attention. Well, no. I I guess the mountains it's using a lot more gas. Oh You're yeah. getting like 12 miles to the gallon, and it's a 14 gallon fuel well, cell. That's not bad. Underneath. So I was like, oh, that should be enough to get from where we're at, at least through the mountains. Sure. Obviously, I underestimated that. Or it's the pump's over here. No, the pump's fine. Yeah, we're out of gas. <laughs> well, at least you have fuel, right? Yeah, well, and I have flex in the car, so literally I don't have to do anything. I'll just put the E85 in and it should start. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, it's out of gas. <laughs> A little bit of pressure. Thank you. You had to be here. <laughs> When I pulled up, I wish we were recording because your face was like, great, it's him. Great. Great. I was just like, God, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. This is a rotary problem. Too fuel? much fuel. I gotcha. Yeah. Go through fuel. They just too go quick. through too much fuel. Fingers crossed. My ignorance, where's everybody headed? Uh, we're on a race week, so track to track. Track to track? Yep. Where's the next one? Come on, baby. Yeah! There it is. The thing with the E85 is uh, your mileage goes down by probably half. So they're gonna try to get on the road real quick, find a gas station so they can top off. They can't let it sit here and idle forever. They don't have a lot of fuel. I think that, that five gallon thing they just put in is basically all they got. All right, boys, good luck! Thank you! Thanks. Halfway through the day, just made it to a gas station. We're gonna check it with some folks. There goes Blaine, his dad, getting back on the road. How's it going? Hi, how you doing, friend? Good. I like your setup here. Oh yeah, man. It's, it's I saw fun. you rolling through the pits yesterday. I was like, where does he put that thing? Now I know. You just strap it to the top. <laughs> yeah. It, it, man, we brought it. It is a pain to load, but it sure has made it a lot nicer walking oh, yeah. rather than walking around. So. Jeez! Alright, well, that's 
Wow. That's our first trailer burnout of the year. Getting all the trailer burnouts. What's this? This thing take? You gonna put 85 in it? Treat her good? Yeah, no, I'll put 91 in. Okay. Yeah. Normally that's what it always runs on for the street driving. We have flex fuel that we added for this. Right. So I just put 91 in and then literally put the E85 in only for racing. Gotcha. But we had that extra... You're lucky you did. I know. Well, sure. what I was thinking, I was like, you know what, I got three other jugs of it if I need to. There you go. It's like I'll keep using it and then I'll just buy more at Bandemir. Yeah, there you up. go. So, there you go. Yeah, we're good. Thanks for stopping. Though. Absolutely. There's Jamie! Yeah! Parker Mitchell, that's Cletus's brother right there in the Mustang with the tires on top. That thing looks sick. All right, quick pit stop. We had to check in with stuff. Rotary made it. So he made it to a gas station to get some gas. We're gonna get back on the road here in a little bit. All right, we made it to our first and only checkpoint for this drive. It is the South Park City Museum. We are in South Park, Colorado right now. How's it going, Parker? Hey, hey dude, we made it to the checkpoint. How you, how, how's the drive so far for you guys? It's so great. We squatted up with a different crew today because Cletus and them are just hauling the mail and I don't have a gear vendor. Gotcha. So I'm either running hot, high RPM to keep up with them or go more moderate, these guys, so. Sounds smarter. Yeah, we're Definitely. keeping it nice and easy. How about you guys? Yes. We're up. We're in the Denali. We're good. AC's working. We don't have that much power. Like AC seats on. Oh yeah. Oh for sure. for sure. When did you you finish this car up like right before bringing it, right? Exactly. So we tested it the night we put it on the trailer, and that's when we figured out that the converter was bad. So I overnighted a converter from Circle D to Great Bend, and as soon as we got here, pulled the trans, slapped the new converter on, and man, we've been doing good. That's that's, that's amazing. You yeah. finished the car actually in Great Bend, and exactly. It's Flawless so far. Uh, well, yeah. Well, kind of. What issues have you had? We, our fuel's getting too hot, right? So we were basically cutting out on fuel. Cletus was having the same issue. So right. we've just been slowing it down and keeping a cooler temps for the motor, and everything's been fine so far. Good. So, good. good. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, just all the little stuff trying to get it dialed in. You know, like you said, asked, I finished the car the night before. Right. So I've been working every day on it for the past month. But, you know, you really don't figure out out what your your uh you don't figure out what stuff's going wrong until you're out here doing it yeah. so you know sensors were coming unplugged and this and that and so now that we've got the car dialed great band we didn't put up a great number but yesterday we did a lot better and I'm what would you put it. up yesterday we were at 9-3 not bad at all right not bad right so you just finished the car as your first ever race week yep that yep. you're competing in anyway because exactly. you, you rode with chet last year i did yeah okay 2.0 i rode there with go. cheyenne and the lambo and you just got addicted and you said i need to do this yeah you know if we're gonna come out and do it again i wanted to have my own car and so we made it happen man. good made That's it awesome. happen and it's been so fun I, I wouldn't trade it for anything we were cruising and i was like talking to the guys on the radio saying can you guys believe that we took a week off of work to go drive through the mountains in our race cars <laughs> with our friends? I mean, what more could you want in life? Right? We're living yeah. large right now, so. It's pretty awesome. It really is. Well, I'm, really glad, is. I'm glad you're on the trip this year with your own car. Me too, Fred. Hopefully you have a good, hopefully we make it the rest of the way and we'll see you at Vandermeer. Sounds good. Woody found us a nice secluded place to. Oh, this is freaking cool. This is gorgeous, dude. Let's do fly fishing down here. Okay, zoom in right down into this close pocket. There's a horde of fish down in there. Dude, I don't know if you can see that, but I am gonna get these guys fly fishing now. Yeah, they're so close. Looks like Royce made it, took a quick picture, and he's getting back on the road here. Hey, what color is it? It's a uh, Porsche Miami blue. I knew it, I knew it. And then we put a pearl mid coat in it also. Gotcha, so. I, saw, I saw it and I was like, that's Miami blue all day. I knew it was Miami blue, but I had to confirm. I didn't want to make. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like a house of color or something special. But. Yeah, it's Porsche Miami blue. Uh, the car was black last year with pink beadlocks, and okay. I wanted something flashy. So oh, my buddy this... owns uh, Pud's Paint and Fab, and he did all the paint work on it. Well, we, I love the. All of us have mentioned the color. Like this, well, every time it rolls, yeah, up, it's like Kyle stopped me day one was like, "Man, this thing's awesome. I love it." It's like, cool. Yeah, man, I'm super happy with it. It was a lot of work, but it came out really good. Really good color. How's the drive for you guys been so far? Man, it's been awesome today. We left. It. 
what, 7.30 or so? Yeah, it's about 7, 20, 7. And yesterday we pulled the intercooler off and it kept the car pretty cool, so we did it again last night and we might have to shut the fan off. I mean, it's cruising like 175, 180 oh, that's, degrees. That's so that's yeah, it's breezing. not bad at all. You might need it for the next couple days, but yeah. today not so bad. Yeah, it's been smooth sailing though this morning. Good. Yeah, not bad at all. Well, we're gonna get back on the road. Awesome. Hopefully, we'll we see you boys in Bandamere. Compound charged. Compound charged. Sweet. I'll be damned. You don't mess around, huh? No. Nope. <laughs> I had to finally start putting more power in the car. The supercharger uh, wasn't quite doing it anymore, so just put the turbo in, got the car running about three weeks ago, a month ago, and got a trans put in it and got it all ready to go. This is the first big trip it's been on. It's had like 500 miles put on it before I came on Rocky Mountain Race Week, so. We're really giving it the trial right now. Yeah. Had a little bit of trouble at the first track. The the boost solenoid was hooked up backwards, so it was opening my bypass valve when it was supposed to be closed. So I was losing all my turbo pressure and stuff. But you got that was the first out. time on the drag strip with us too. Yep, first time out. So what's it run? The car. What's it run? Uh, I ran a 12.4 at 117 yesterday. Dang. Wait, That's... you said this is your your first time racing a drag strip? I'd never raced before. You decided to do race week? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's really testing That's it today or this awesome. week. Yeah. Yep. So the car's never been on one, and I haven't either. This is actually it? where we bought the car, was right up here. We bought it in like in Evergreen, mountains. right up over there, like eight or nine years ago, so. That's cool. Well, there's the Buick. Yeah. Yep. Hey. 3,800 Pro. Yeah. Were you having fun so far? Yeah, it's been a great time. The car doing good? Yep. Have an AC promise, but that's the worst thing that's happened, so. Well, <laughs> just roll down the windows, I guess. Yep, it's nice up here today, so it's not a big deal. So okay. if that's the worst thing that happens all week, I'll be stoked. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Really been enjoying the week so far. Well, good to you, man. Yeah. Good luck to you guys, and we'll see you at the track. Thanks. Awesome. So every year there is one hand-controlled car on race week. He comes back every year. He just he just like split three lanes of traffic, pulled over. We're gonna check in on him, see how he's doing. Well, I saw you cut three lanes over. I figured I'd stop and see what see what's up. I lost a serpentine belt. Oh. Be a good reason why you got to pull over quick. Yeah. What happened? You lost serpentine belt. Oh, shit. Do you have extras? Yeah. Good. How many times you done race week now? Uh, this is my fifth one. Fifth time. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a big string. Good to go. Looks like it. I think it's on all the ribs. Yeah. Yeah. Looks pretty good. A little squeak. Oh, got a pulley coming off. The after pulley's coming off. Was oh, that? Oh, sh I see that. That squeak. That's what that was. That pulley is uh, at an angle, definitely not supposed to be. Looks like it's held on by a couple bolts. Bolts bent. Doesn't look like that bolt's gonna come out of the idler either because it bent. Looks like at the neck there. Well, I hate to leave you, but I think we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the road. Hopefully, we see a band of mirror. Hopefully, it's only about 40 more miles, 50 more miles. All right. Good luck to you. So it's it's a rule that uh, we are not allowed to help the racers, which is terrible because. Any racer that pulls over and all they need is like somebody to hold something or something like that, I, we really want to help, but we, we literally can't. It's against the rules. So hopefully he finds a bolt for that idler and he gets back on the road. We only got about 40, 50 more miles till Bandemir, so hopefully he makes it. Nine seventy six at one seventy. What's up, guys? Meltdown made it. Meltdown made it. Hell yeah! And you made it past some tires down there. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. I about to say you, you spun off the line, but you still did a nine seven. Nine seven at one seventy. Not bad. Not bad, right? <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. You're, what are you shooting for, really? Uh, well, I mean, we're shooting for Duck Cook, but <laughs> he's probably a little far away from us at this point. So. Just a little bit. Just but little I think bit. that even that nine seventy keeps our average good enough. We should be able to hold on a second. Hell yeah! Hell yeah!
Are you good with that pass or are you going to go up a little later? Uh, no, I'm turning it in and we're uh, heading down the route. It goes about three miles from our shop and we're putting the crankshaft in this thing tonight. Oh, <laughs> damn. Well, take pictures so, and give us give us to, give them to us in uh, Kearney or something like that. We'll do. I didn't, so you guys, damn, all right. Yeah. That's convenient though, Yeah. right? Is it just on the route and right down the road? Yeah. Nice, very yeah, nice. I got on the phone to my machinist this morning and have my stepson drive, drive my uh, crankshaft over to him and, and they squeeze us in. And, we're spending it today, balancing it and everything. And That's as soon as we get there, we're going to start blowing this whole thing apart. That's a good machine shaft right there. Put a crankshaft in it. And, uh, is that the only thing you think you need? Is a what was the issue? We think that the transmission is probably it. Okay. So we got a spare. We're going to throw it in just to be safe. Okay, so new crank and new trans tonight. Yep. Damn. Okay. Yep. Well, hopefully in Kearney by race time on right. Right, Friday, right, right. Thursday, 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 Thursday. On Thursday. <laughs> I'm so lost. Well, I'm glad you made it. Glad you made it pass. Yeah, uh, get sure. this thing wrapped up, and we'll see you in Carney, man. Thanks, man. See ya. Take it easy. Well, you made it. Yeah. Hell yeah! Did you get everything sorted out? Okay. So you ended up getting everything straightened out and good to go. Hell yeah! Good luck out there, man. All right, we got a 13.17 at 103. seen you stay in it that long while you're spinning. I gotta say it was cool, but it wasn't wasn't fast. I was a little frustrated. We're gonna wait till the sun goes down. That's smart. That's smart. Honestly, at least you tried. I you tried it. I listen to the guys that were telling me the track was bad, but I was like, I'll be the one to send it. We die, like, man. man. It's fun. So, but it, actually, it wouldn't have gone down even if the track was good because it's doing this thing where it makes a little bit of boost on the line and then it. And then it's, it all comes in uh -huh. at once, and then it blows tires up, even if the track is good. So at least we know we need to work around the two-step, get it up into like a little bit higher boost, and then it should all leave at once. Like, is, that is, that, is that all elevation right there? Or what? What yeah, that was the same tune, so maybe a smidge of elevation changes. it. So. Well, still, still looking for those still got that cool burnout, you know? You did a, it was a sweet burnout. I was like, he's still in it. He's still going. It's just a little, you know, one of them things. Sometimes you let off some steam. Hopefully more listens that I'm a little frustrated with him. We go back out and make All a right. clean run. Seven's next time. Seven's next time. Good luck. I appreciate it. There you go. <laughs> for the rotary. Yeah. Yeah, the day's way worse, so it's gonna need some more off the line. Yeah. 
about an hour, so that's where it's set. But yeah, it's just a little, little soft and blind, so. We got time to figure yeah. it out. Back to the pits. Yep. I'm back. He knew it. Watching you work on a car, what are you doing? Oh, you finally start doing something and he's going to feel you. Working on the car, what else would I be doing, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you did a 10.55 yesterday. I think everybody was shocked about that. What's the goal today? What are we doing? These are jets, Fred. You're just going to put bigger jets in? The jets are out. Oh, the jets are out. The jets are out. So laptops right there. We're going to load one in. And see You're trying to go faster than a 55? I'm going to put a 360 jet in there. I don't know if it'll like it because of the elevation. So we're hoping the 360 might just make up for it. Any other changes you guys are going to make? Uh, I loosened the clutch up because remember this is my home track, so I got some data here. Right. It's hot and greasy out there right now. So yeah. We, just, we, we sat out the first round, you know, just there's no reason to go down there. So it's loose, the clutch is loose, tune up's in it. I'll go down there and read the starting line a little bit and see what he thinks. Have you been down there yet? We'll just make a starting line retard and see what happens. All right. We'll see you guys probably, are you gonna wait till nighttime to? to we'll probably go here shortly. Okay. Let's see if we can go A to B. I don't know if we'll have the big kill it yet or not. Okay. We'll, we'll be up there at the line, we'll see you guys up there. Hope for at least a 10 and then we'll work for, we'll go from there. Is there yeah. we, need, we need our goal. We need okay. our goal first. Okay. And then we'll get the goal of the 10 and then we'll go from there. All right, see you boys up there. Okay guys. Not bad. All right. What do we got with the hearse? What's going on? Uh, went to put the charge pipe on. Just looked in it, make sure nothing was in it. In the intake or in the well, charge Well, just pipe? to make sure there was no like dirt, nothing leaves, nothing in the damn pipe for some stupid reason. I saw a crack. Found the crack. crack in your weld there? Yeah, the weld was cracked. Which, afterthought, I screwed up on the pass in Pueblo, didn't have it at the right RPM when we left. Okay, cool, you know, I'm not at the right RPM when I left, it's not at the right RPM when it shifts. Makes sense why the boost was lower. Makes a little more sense now why the boost was lower. So this is why you went slow in Pueblo, you think? Is 890 slow? I mean, for you, <laughs> you run eights in this massive thing here, so I just think, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, got that fixed, and then, Actually, uh, called uh, Brent Coddington and came over and was welding it while I was switching plugs and stuff for me. Standing here looking, and I saw the rusty water like there was rusty water all the way down on the firewall. Started looking, found a crack in one of the tabs on the radiator. It was leaking water. So, you're, you're welding all the aluminum on your car right now? Seems like it. <laughs> but we're here, I got somebody that can do it. They, we have access to a welder to get it. Good. I'm just going to take the time to do it so I don't have to deal with it on the road. Okay. Try to make it smooth and sailing. Find this guy, go, what are we doing today? You did an 864 in Great Bend and right. you backed up with 890, you said? 893. 893 yet, or yesterday. Yep. What are we looking at today? 
you know, I told myself for the week, I want to finish, and if I can do it, that's a win. And if I can do it with an average in the eights, that's a win-win. Yeah. So if I can do an eight, anything, anything I'm, I'm fine. So if you go out there and do it at 8.99, you're just going to pack it in for the day, you want to stick around? I'll switch over and stick around. Okay. All right. I don't think it'll be an 8.99. Okay, you think it's gonna be a little quicker? I Just a little bit. This is like, is this your home track? Uh, we've raced, actually this was the track that I very first got an eight on. Okay, so you're, you're familiar with the track pretty well. And there's been some changes since then, so. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll be rooting for an eight, maybe deep into the eights. Think you can know. do best, better than 64, or? I don't know if it can here. Okay. Just because of the air and the tune I have in it. I've got a lot of safety and like, torque management and stuff going on in the training, just to try to keep everything. I want to finish the damn week. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, that's so, the point. That's what I said was, if we can get through the week, I'm going to get back to Great Bend, get my safe pass, we finish, and I'm going to go back and turn it all off. All right. Well, uh, we'll see you up there when you get up there, man. Good luck today. Thanks. Oh, yeah. class that was a perfect pass right Dude. there <laughs> talk about running a number yeah exactly what are you shifting too too soon slowing it down well, like i said if i can finish the week with an eight second average right i'm gonna be one happy bastard yeah so that still gives us an eight second average quick glance i don't see any holes that went cold or hot pressures all looked good Got a long drive tomorrow. Are you gonna go up for one more? Or are you gonna pack it in right now? I personally, I think I'm just gonna pack it up. But well, you still got that eight, that eight second average, even though Dude, you didn't get an eight here. You still got the average. After so. failing at 1.0 and 2.0 last year, that's been bugging me for a year. Like all I want to do is finish this again. Right. And to do it with an eight second average in a car like this is, I mean. There's a million stories like that here, but I mean, that's something else, I, you know, I think. Yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, definitely cool. I don't know. That's what my gut says. I'm going to look over this some more and make a final decision, but initial glance, I think that's what's going to happen. All right. Well, either we'll see you up there or we'll see you on the road for Carney tomorrow. Right on. Later, buddy. Thanks. The heap. The heap's going. That's the baddest Jeep we've ever seen, I Absolutely. think. Absolutely. What you wanted? I always wanted it bogged. Yeah, I saw it was like kind of a slow launch for, for this car. Yeah, from what I saw. We're like 2,000 feet DA more than we were yesterday, so we right. bumped it up like 150 RPM on the launch, but we needed like another 200 over that. What do you what do you bump it up to now? Uh, it launches like 5,200 RPM. Okay. I think it might be at 50. It, 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 launch, it, um, it launches right about 40. To, oh, sorry, 3,800 RPM right now. Okay. All right. 38. So it launches at 3,800 RPM. Okay. Yeah. 
How did know it, everything. <laughs> other, other than the launch, did it feel like it was? Everything else felt great. Yeah, I, I could just fine. tell right off the bat, like there's there's the sounds it makes when it, it goes up and it hits like a higher RPM and then it drops to the target RPM mm -hmm. and it just had, it was like stopped twice. I was like, ah, this isn't gonna be great, but made sure everything else was good. It's still slip, you can turn in, but it's not, you want to get that 10-0 oh something, 10-0 oh yeah. oh something. Oh yeah. All right. Well, By the way, I have to mention, make sure to check out the AMS YouTube, uh, YouTube on, link in the description below here, because we had an epic mountain drive today. Lots of amazing footage. And nice. that video from yesterday was sweet. I know, did a killer job. So you guys, please go check out the AMS YouTube channel. Subscribe to them, thank them. Martin's the owner of the company, is out here tuning with me all week. <laughs> That, I mean, it's VIP treatment. Customer it's service. Awesome. Customer yeah, service. It's been, it's, just, it's been a dream week, and we're only three days into the trip. Hell yeah. I love it. All right, well, hopefully, definitely faster than a 21. Yeah. We'll just chip away at it, see where we we're can get. We're going to do a 10 -0. So cocky. All right, all right. 10 -0. 10 -0. He said it. He said it. 10 -0. Tune in his car. And if it does Back massage. Yeah. Oh, oh. Why'd you stop? <laughs> if it doesn't happen, we're just going to cut out of the video, and you'll see the 10 -0 anyway. <laughs> all right, bye, Kyle. Bye. Man, this is my favorite diesel truck right here. Thank you, sir. How's it going, man? All right, so this is what your third or fourth, fourth, fourth race week, and you're sitting what second right now in 90? Third, third place, something like that. Third place. Yep. Oh, third place now. Yep. So what's the what has anything changed on the truck last time? Is it still at L, what, L, LBZ? LBD. LBZ. So LBZ. Sorry. LBZ. Same. I mean, we it's a build crank now, so it's stock crank. Uh, change the converter. Other than that, it's about the same truck. Yeah. Yeah. How's the drive been for you the past couple of days? Hot. <laughs> just, just hot? Just Other than that, just cruising down the road? Cruising down the road. What kind of mileage does this get? I think we talked about this before. 20. 20? Yep. Well, these race car guys can't do 9.0s and 20 miles a gallon, <laughs> so know. they're probably pretty jealous. I know. What's the... I, I would I would ask what's the goal, but obviously it's 900 with an O. What's been your best ET this week? Best ET so far has been a 952, which is a per new personal match. But well, congrats. We keep getting some issues on the top end. The truck keeps shutting down, so. I saw it was like it was just sputtering a little bit. Yep. We can't. I don't know if we have a crank issue, a crank sensor issue, or what we have. Hopefully we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna turn it down a little bit this path and see if it'll get out clean. So if it does that, we should be good. So. All right. Well, good luck to you, man. All right. Thank you. Hell yeah. We have a slip we can turn in at least, but we're not going to. Hey, but is that your fastest pass in the car? Uh, this week? No, I ran a 996 the first day. Oh, never mind. 923 in Texas. Oh, okay. Gotcha. We're gotcha. hoping to run like a 90 on the last day with these tires on it before I run the 8 with like the Archer Blades. Gotcha. So just slow it down a little bit. Yeah, we're back to the 60 foot we need. We need like a 171 or 172. Oh, that's good. So he raised it, what was it, 3800? Was that what the yeah, launch like RPM? Yeah, Gotcha. So we'll probably drop it down a little bit. Well, wheel hop, so we'll see what he wants to do. That's good. Well, progress. I'm gonna go forward again. There you go.
situation, but we'll let it run. Okay, Jack, Stan, what do we do? Three second gain at 20. Three mile second hour. gain? Yeah, we're at 1549 at 15. 91. You thought you were going to do a 17. They got to they they undershoot. Got to undershoot it. Yeah. What, how big of a shot was that? 100. We going up? Uh, it bogged real bad when I grabbed the button off the line, so I trimmed some fuel. Okay. So it should be able to spray more longer, so it should pick up something. Lean is mean. We'll go lean up from there. Yeah, yeah. When in doubt, lean it out. When it comes to nitrous, lean it out. Is that is that, that, is that what yeah. they say? When in doubt. You know what you're doing? Just lean it out. I don't trust some of the things you say. Sometimes. I mean, it'll go fast. Okay. But for how long? <laughs> no guarantee. All right, give, give me a, give me an ET. What are we looking at next pass? I think you got those powder pistons in it. Oh, 100%. Yeah, those are built for nitrous, so it should be fine. <laughs> should go a 15-2. 15-2? Yeah. I'm going to hold you to that. Good luck to you. Thanks, Bert. bad tire spin, but I think we'll uh, go up and, I think, dude, it went at 187 mile an hour. Yep. I think it's got like a 750. I think it's de it's de definitely deeper. Yeah, yeah. definitely deeper. We've never gone this slow to the 60 before. What was the 60? 138. What's your normal 60? 113. Okay. So yeah. that's a 750 right there. I'm happy with it. What changes are you going to make for, for the next I'll pass? probably just loosen the front shocks up like four clicks so it rides on the back tire. Gotcha. The radio likes to be loaded on the back tire. So gotcha. gotcha. We just didn't know what we were working with. But yeah, those are kind of shakedown deals. 790 is not bad. Still though. 790 yeah, for yeah, shakedown, yeah. not bad, right? It's good. It makes you feel more confident going to the next round and just giving it hell. So. Right, right. How's the, tra how's the track conditions though? It's getting better. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. The sun's going down, so it's cooling off, and that'll, that's more favorable for a radial. So. Gotcha. Well, congrats on the seven. Thanks, brother. 750's next. 750 next pass. All right. Send it I'll send it again once it gets a little more cool. cool gotcha. Line, you know, the but 922 shots, right so. out the gate, not bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It definitely left a lot harder this time than my first pass, which was like a 932 or something like that. Yeah. So, tense, you know, one tenth of a second. Sure. Pretty good. Oh, hell we'll yeah, man. Do when it cools off. Well, congrats. Thanks, Red. Uh, we'll see you later tonight. Okay. Hell yeah.
Got to slow it down a little more. I just heard over the loudspeaker that uh, they have a racer in need, and anytime you need a part, just go to the booth. They'll announce it for you. If somebody in, in the pits has a part, maybe they'll give it to you. They just announced that Tom Stark needs a head gasket, so I'm going to talk to him about it. Well, 10-7. Plugs, it looks like, so I'm gonna pull heads off it. I about to say, they, they just announced you were looking for a head gasket for it? I think we might need a head, I don't know yet. Really? Well, number eight plug won't come out of the hole, so. Oh! That's not good. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know what happened there. The tune up looks okay. So we'll, we'll know here in 20 minutes. I'll come back in 20 or 30. Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right. Good luck. Thanks. What's that? Huh? Don't need to try and run 12. We'll see how it goes. All right, good luck, brother. It gets out the hole faster than you think it will, to be honest with you. We're only making six pounds of boost, so it's down. I don't know if it's just the elevation or what. Probably the elevation. That's what a lot of guys struggle with up top. Some guys uh, yesterday in Pueblo actually got a nitrous kit from Nitrous Outlet just to, so they could spool and get, get back to where they were. So we were just checking ahead of probably a couple vacuum leaks, just taking care of that, seeing if that would help. We did run a 14, like, 6. 14.06? But we're in the 13 class. Right, right. But at uh, Pueblo, the best we did was a 14.1. Uh, you can still average 13s if you just put up a couple good numbers, that's all. Yeah, but up 13.5 in Great Bend. Okay, so your average is probably still about, what, 13.9 or something Somewhere like that? Somewhere in there, yeah. Gotcha. So. You gonna do another pass today? Yeah, we're gonna, hopefully when it cools off a little bit, we can get it in the 13s or close. Right. Try to do at least one more pass. All right. We'll see you up there, man. Good luck to you. Thanks. So funny to watch you feel burnt out. Guesses on what he was going to run. He's Bill over here said 762, and Tom runs a 763. Yeah. You know your cars. Because we bet. Oh, get out! Of here. <laughs> Still having trouble with the burnouts? Yeah, had a trouble with. It. I don't know why. It seems to go down the track just fine. Uh, it went down the track fine. That's the quickest I've been here. In Bandemir, 63. Yeah. First, I usually around a 78, 79. That's the first time I've been down there that quick. Nice. Are you guys happy with that? Or are you guys gonna go up and yeah, I'll wait and see what somebody else does? Oh, okay, okay. And, and we're gonna have it ready. And uh, if I gotta go up and, and uh, make another pass, I will. And if I don't, if I'm good where it's at, so we'll have it all ready to go. All right. Well, relax until that happens. Man, I tell you what, it, 
That's hot. I don't. Is it what 20 layers? Jeez. All right. Yeah. Probably yeah. pretty hot in there. How was the drive today? It was great. <coughs> we didn't have our bed. Got overheated one time. It really wasn't overheated. It just got up to 220. Gotcha. You know, and that was coming up the mountain. Yeah. And other than that, uh, hell, we got good gas mileage too. Cause coming down there, we just coasted. <laughs> you know, so. But yeah, it, it went real fun. All right. Well, we'll see you later tonight, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what, what he does. And All right. We'll go from there. See you guys later. All right. Thanks. What's the update, Blaine? What's that? Number eight is gone. Number eight piston's gone? What's the game plan? Well, it's there. What? It melted the whole bottom of it. What's the game plan? Not sure yet. What's that? Not sure yet. Still figuring out options and stuff? The valve's on here. This one's okay. That plug's stuck. Oh. This is race week. This is the most you had to work on the car, though, right? What do we got here? Number eight. Looks a little beat up. A little bit. I'll tap it. And then detonation. That side might be gone, too. Do you haven't taken the head off on that side yet? Plug stuck the block or head on that side too. So. Well, I'll let you guys sit here and think about it for a while. I'll come back and check on you guys a little while. Good luck to you. Thanks. This is race week, man. This is race week. This is what race week's about right here. So, good luck, guys. I'll be back in a little bit. Thanks. I was. Were you? Well, he was going for a nine. I was so, going for a nine. yeah. He, well, he may have wanted a nine. I was just setting it up to run a nine at sea level. So, 
we only gave a couple extra pounds on the gate. Yeah. That was it. I had him plumb in because we were just riding the gates. So I went to good old motion and grabbed some quarter inch line and said, well, I guess you better you better uh, plumb in the CO2 tank So because it's not going to do better in 1070 on the gates. So, so we put three pounds on the gates and he's going to see how much he made. But put three pounds on the gates and gained a second. So Not bad. But yeah. So how'd it feel? Good. Yeah? What do you? What, what's your goal now? Oh, that goes faster. Huh? He's a chip off the old block. He wants the moon tune. Oh, the he wants the moon. Just give it all of it. <laughs> Do it. Do it. All the boost. Eventually, he's gonna be running the fives, and then you're gonna be just chilling, going up on the line next to him. You guys gonna make another pass tonight? Yeah, he wants to make one more. Do the, basically the same thing, so he gets both his nines for his license, and then then be done. That stuff will be out of the way. So cool. Well, congrats on the first nine. Thanks. We'll see you guys up there later, man. Thanks, man. Yeah. So hopefully they can find something, even a junkyard 4.8 would work. Something they can put in there and just run for this week and finish. That'd be great. All right, update. What do we got, Blaine? Found an LS3. LS3. That's better than a 4.8 or a 5.3. Yeah. Okay. Dad has one at the shop. So they're going to go get one. We turned in our time slips, so now we can have other people work on it. Right. Um, so we're going to work on getting the motor out. We're going to have someone grab that. Who's grabbing the motor for you? I think uh, one of my dad's employees. Gotcha. Grab it gotcha. And then bring it back here. Is it a complete top to bottom motor? Okay. It, you're going to hook so, up everything? Are you just going to run an NA or are you going to hook up everything like, like you do now or what? I don't know. It's kind of up to him. Okay. So, I don't know. What do you want to do? I'd prefer to spray it. It's also not our motor, so. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a borrowed motor? Yeah. Okay. So, may or may not spray it. Gotcha. I think it's a borrowed motor. I don't know. I don't know what this plan is. Either way. Well, we got a motor. Either, that's, that's what I got to Either way, you guys have all day tomorrow to get to Kearney. It's, a, it's, a, it's like 460 miles, so it's a long Except one. Except for we kind of got to get to a bed tonight. What's that? We've got to get to a bed tonight. What do you mean? Sleep. Oh. You don't need to sleep, it's race week. It's true, race week first is gonna come in. So, motor's coming, motor's coming tonight, and yeah. you're gonna put it in here tonight? All right, I'll check in with you boys a little bit. All right. Good luck. with a six at 134. Okay. 992 for Aiden. Backs it up. Seven to sixty, and then lays over. Uh, oh, 
something? So there's some Corvette guys that they came here last year. They are back this year, and I just heard that they just got to the track, and it is 8.30 p.m., so we have an hour and a half to make a pass. I want to see what the struggles were on the road, because obviously there were some. How's it going? You look tired? Yeah, we're worn out. What, yeah, so what, you guys just rolled in like just a few minutes ago. Yeah, we just rolled in in, uh, in Canyon, right outside uh, Colorado Springs or whatnot. We uh, lost second and third gear, starting to go through the mountains, starting to get into the mountains okay. right, with the hills. And we're just running a 350 trans, and we're pulling, what, 1,000, 1,500 pounds behind us. You know, vets aren't made for that. So, and I was running a 3,000 stall converter. So it was getting hot, we got a big cooler and all that stuff, so it just wasn't working for us. And it made it through the first day, and, but but last night at Pueblo, I tried to make a pass and it flared in second gear and I had to bump third gear and I was, it was like we went to neutral. So we were gonna try to baby it, but coming out of Pueblo, we were like, uh, there's just, no way. Yeah, it, it was getting hot and it just lost second and third gear. And we pulled over and Right there in Canyon, we looked across the street, I saw Auto Shop, called the lady, she goes, we don't have any 350 transmissions. I was like, hey, you guys gotta have some guys that are hot rodders back there, or something. So she said, okay, let me go check. Well, there was a guy, he goes, man, come over, if you can make it over. We were just across the street, make it over. We got a 350 transmission sitting here, short shaft. I'm like, okay, I'll be there in a couple minutes. Sure enough, short shaft 350, it was used out of a truck. He goes, it was a good transmission, doesn't have a governor. So we threw our governor in, was going to use our governor, and the shop across the street from him said, hey, I've got a converter. So we threw a stock converter in it, knowing that we were going to get hot going through the mountains. Mm -hmm. So we did that. The big cam, bigger cam doesn't like it, but we didn't get any heat coming through. But anyway, the guy at the shop, Skyline Automotive in Canyon, Chris is the owner. He said, I've got a converter right here. He let us use the lift. He didn't want any money. He bought. He got in parts for us. He uh, got oil, got a filter kit, got seals for us. Anything we wanted, all his tools. He was like, we'll help you get on the road because he wants to do it next year. I was about to say, does he, he obviously knows what race he we He knows did. what it is, and he's got a badass El Camino with an LS3 going in it in pieces right now. Right. So he was awesome. And uh, he let us do everything. He, he was throwing tools at us. He was like, what do you need? Um, so in about three and a half hours, four pizzas later, I bought him beer and all that stuff. I'm like, listen, you know, we'll do anything for you. He's like, ah, just give me parts of 100 bucks. I'm like, no, here, take some money. You know, we appreciate everything you did. So for about six, 700 bucks, we thrashed on a used transmission and torque converter in a pinch. And we just went through the mountains, ran great. And we just made a pass. So I was just happy to make a pass. I'm not worried about winning the class, you know, but I've had this car since I was 19. Really? Yeah, I bought it in uh, 88 in Warner Roberts, Georgia, when I was stationed there in the Air Force. So this has been my beater car. I've drifted it, I've drag raced it, I've SCCA'd it back in the day. and. So it was just, my goal was just to make it with my old beater. You right. Know, 400 small block, old school, you know. So. That's just hot rodders being hot rodders and helping and, each other out right and there. And we met up with Reggie, you know, Reggie Moore with the organ grinder. We met up with him, we're from Florida, so we met up with him in Arkansas. A buddy of mine in the Air Force came up from Arizona. So we met in, uh, was it Great Bend? Mm -hmm. So we all met up in there, and man, it's been a blast. You That's know? awesome. So just being old greasy we're stinky sweaty oh my god it's just been <laughs> but you're here day. and you made it and you made a pass that's freaking awesome i had a blast all you have to do is make a 400 and some odd mile drive tomorrow to Kearney. a couple more days yeah, and then you yeah. finish the week i think we'll be fine now that we've got a good solid transmission i think we'll be fine good good so, well, glad you made it congrats on actually making it making a pass yep we'll see you in Kearney in a couple hey, days man, man. I appreciate it absolutely <laughs>
it's coming, but yeah, there we yeah. go. <laughs> Is that how you pull the motor right yeah, there? Yeah, that looks like that's what's going to happen. What do you got coming? LS3. LS3? Crate motor. Blaine told me it was just at the shop or what? Yeah, it's on, it's, I, ha, I bought it for one of my buddies, built a 60 Impala, and uh, I forgot it's been stashed under the shelf for two or three years now. Oh, really? So I, we were just clicking, like, somebody's got to have a motor. Right. Somebody's got to have a motor. So we, we were on Marketplace and Craigslist, and then it clicked. I got one at the shop. So I called him. He's like, hell yeah, get it. So. It was kind, kind of a borrowed motor? Uh, no, I'll, I'll own it. Okay. I won't Got give it, it back to him. <laughs> no, I'll buy him a new one. You know. it, are you going to run nitrous on it? I don't know. Time will tell. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I talked, I talked to Blaine earlier. He's like, I think we got an LS3, so are you going to run nitrous? He's like, I don't I, I don't know. I want to, but I don't know. <laughs> Holy sh**. Look who just came out from under the car. Oh! Got the tranny out of it. He's pulling the tranny. I didn't even know Blaine was here. Right. Busy man, what you doing? Pull the tranny. Let's see what you got. Hang on, I gotta grab the right side. Alright. Let's go. Check that thing out. So I gotta get the drive shaft out right now. And then cross member to Jack. Right now. Oh crap, we need a jack. Alright. Sorry. Now that I think we gotta get a jack. <laughs> um, we don't have a normal jack. Okay, can you pull it and I'll slide the plug? Yeah, you ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. Uh, ready? Yep. Go. Beautiful. Good job, bud. Pull it out or watch the caps, remember? You're badass, Blaine. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> But for some reason, there was such a fight for us to figure out a four link. Ah! <laughs> Dude, let's go! Let's go! And it was it was like just cruise like we went eight O's and we were hazing the tires. Yeah. And then like that pass didn't budge, didn't shimmy, didn't haze the tires. It just did what we wanted it to do. It actually yeah. listen, yeah. listen. Woo! Yeah! Funny because we built it to go sixes and we're like 780s. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. got to start somewhere, man. It's like we've only got like 15 passes Baby on the steps. car. It's sometimes you got to remember that. But now I'm hoping with the bar change, like it's not only going to go down good tracks. I think it'll be able to go down like better tracks. I got to give a shout out to Red from the Motion Team for giving us the advice to change the bar. Yeah. Because everything on Absolutely. that felt like instead of it doing like the whoop, it just went. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Mullen! Let's go! I told you, Fred. I for said seven, baby. For it. seven. Congrats, man. Four race weeks. All right, hey, so the next two tracks, sevens, right? Oh, dude, I want to go. It's been a 760. You definitely want to beat that. Okay. I would like to go 750 or 40. All right. Well, congrats, and get this thing to Carney, man. Thanks, man. See ya. Brent? Thank you, Fred. Good job, buddy. Yes! I don't know why, that was so freaking good, good, good job on your 50. Why was it so hard? Oh, I'm sorry! 1458! Yeah, Got Light. another second out of her. Look at that. Yeah. No nitrous, that's what I do. 13s in Carney. Might leave a rod or two on the track. 13s right in Carney. Alright, alright. See you, Carney, man. See you, buddy. situation. What's going on? It's running out of fuel and we're not sure why. We changed the pump, took it off Jason's car, threw that pump on again, and we changed 
check the regulator, make sure it's not hanging open or doing something stupid. We haven't found anything wrong yet. My yeah. pump looks good. Still searching for issues. Gotcha. I'm still hunting for it. Alright, well, good luck. I'll Thanks be back in a little bit. All right, him in the lanes because yeah. I was like they might not they might they might not he's getting right up there so well, we, were, we were told the lanes closed at 10 and then all of a sudden at the end it seemed like it closed at 15 minutes before 10. right yeah so but we got down there like at 15 before right I was like well <laughs> can we get in it's like, yeah, it's like, come on <laughs> well congrats thank you sir yeah we'll see you tomorrow Bryce Congrats on the seven. Thanks, buddy. Do you have any idea what the issue is? Are you it's it's still there. What's that? It's still there. It just it just didn't happen that pass or what? We took we now took the pump off his car, threw it on this car. We took the regulator apart, tried to find a problem, couldn't find a problem. Every time we put his pump on, it works. But I've had two pumps on mine that's worked all the time. I mean, mechanical pumps just I've never seen them fail. Huh. But well, until this week. Yeah. Well, you have only, I think you only have like a 460 mile drive tomorrow. Yeah, that'd so. be awesome. <laughs> we'll see you in Cardi. Sounds good. Thank All right, you. man. Later. <laughs> what you got, Blaine? A motor. <laughs> and I'm so happy that it's here. <laughs> it's a good start. <laughs> here, bud. Pull that up. Oh, that bolt's got to come out. Okay. Loose? Make sure all our stuff is gonna work. It's gonna fit, yeah. Hey, doggy, let's go. Okay, sweet. We don't have to change the balancer. So let's just swap the water pump. We'll run our water pump. We'll pull the intake off. We'll run our intake. We probably need to put our breather system on it, right? Or our uh, motion feel there. Uh, oh, and yeah. So let's get this out of here. So pull this back off. Did you ever think you'd be swapping a motor on race week? No. Well, this is what race week's about right here. Yeah. I sure hope we get this in. If not, and I'm a little scared right now. I don't want to say it, but I'm scared something, just something. Is it going to work? Is isn't going to work. Just ain't going to line up, just, just isn't going to work with it. Something isn't right. No, it's right. It's just, you know, things go that way. Right. We're, we're going to have to get some kind of part that we don't have. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We're just gonna hope that doesn't happen. Tom, are you forklift certified? Not today. Tonight. <laughs> Not my truck. We are tonight. Uh... Where are we going? I'm on right there. Okay. 
start stripping stuff off this. Yeah. Eagle has landed. Is the other one ready to come out already? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's what we were working on while the motor was on its way. Okay, you think they were sitting around? No, I just didn't know it was, I didn't know it was ready, ready. Great engine specification. We still need it. It's just somebody else's opinion. We don't need that where we're going. <laughs> The LS3 crate engine is here. Blaine is getting the motor ready. Uh, his dad is getting the old engine ready to be pulled. As soon as that thing's pulled, we're gonna head out and uh, hopefully we see him on the road tomorrow. But we're gonna stay here until they get the old engine pulled, at least. I don't know. Hey, Ulrich, well, this thing's getting heavy. <laughs> Isn't it plastic? Yeah, but it ain't light. Man. You ain't got no muscles? Come on, man. Where are these at? I don't know. Oh, I got you. I got you, Ulrich. You got it? A little bit more. Go up a little bit. Okay, hold on. You're stuck over here. We get the new motor in. Hopefully, okay. we see you in car. Hopefully, we see you on the road tomorrow, right, man? Yeah. All right, give me a pound with not the oil hand. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, get it out of here. Good luck, Tom. We'll see you boys later. Hopefully, we see you tomorrow on the road. We'll At tomorrow. least in Carney. We'll see you, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. All right, guys. It may not be tomorrow, but we'll see you in Carney. Okay. Carney. All right. Good luck to you guys. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Later. All right, guys. That is going to do it for our coverage of day four of Rocky Mountain Race Week here at Bandemir. This right here is what Rocky Mountain Race Week is all about. They didn't give up. The head was messed up. Piston was messed up. They said, "We're not giving up. We're gonna we're gonna find a motor. And we're gonna put it in there, and uh, I think they're gonna make it. That's awesome." Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for a video t tomorrow and the next day and the rest of the week for Rocky Mountain Race Week. We're doing daily coverage, so stay tuned for those videos. We'll see you in the next one.